Hello, crafty friends. Creative Juice by Lonnie with you here on Monday. It's always a delight to be able to help you gain some creative confidence. And today I have a fun new product from our online exclusives, from Stampin' Up's online exclusives, this Trucking Along Bundle. Um, it sold out within the first, the first couple of days when it came um, on the 6th of July, but it has been restocked as of this morning. <laughs> so I, there, there are still some available. I don't know how long it will last. I believe it will be coming back. So if you miss it, you'll still be able to get it. Let me tell you really quick. Um, this is where you can order it. And this is the number. So the bundle includes this punch and the photopolymer stamps that go with it. So we're going to play a little bit around with it today. If you, if this is on your list, if you need to pick up this bundle, <laughs> there you go. There's all of your information that you need and you can get that there at creativejuicebylani.com at least today, right? Do you already have it? Tell me if you've already ordered it or if it's something that's even on your wish list. I think you'll really love it because it's a very versatile stamp set. Not only does it have um, some sentiments for every day, but it also has a Christmas, a holiday stamp set. So if you're a start or a holiday sentiment. So if you are starting your holiday Christmas cards, you can load up a little Christmas tree in the back of your truck and take off. So isn't that adorable? Say hello to me as you're coming in as well. I'd love to say hello to you if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. So you can tell me if you're, that's on your list. So let me give you a couple of ideas of ways to use this. First of all, you can stamp your image in a dark color. I did my tuxedo memento black. And then there is a couple, there are a couple of stamps that fill it in. Let's do that. I'm going to stamp and fill in the truck with boho blue. So you ink up your stamp. You line it up, hopefully. I'm, I'm doing this a little bit off. Uh, I can't see exactly over the top of my thing there, but oh, close enough. Close enough. So you've got your, your color stamped on there. Oh, whoops, I wanted that to be black and I just put it back right into the blue. Then there's one little stamp that can also fill in your tires. So I'm doing black on this one, trying to get that kind of lined up. So there's your first idea. You can stamp it. You can color it in. Here's one that's already done too. Then you can punch it. I'll punch it out in just a minute. But again, just stamped inked up, stamped, and punched. Cute. You can also use any of your coloring tools. So watercolor, I'm going to use some of our Stampin' Blends. I have um, soft sea foam. That's this kind of light green. This is the new copper clay. And then this is Pebbled Path, all brand new, what, brand, not all brand new colors. The green isn't, the soft sea foam. So you can color it in like this. And I decided I wanted to do a little bit of, um, oh yes, a little bit of rust on this truck because it looks like an old farm truck that could be on your grandpa's farm, right? So we'll start by coloring in some of the hubcaps, a little silver, make the wheels black, the tires black. There we go. It's almost as easy to color it in. So here's how I did the, a little bit of, uh, okay, we're gonna do it this way. I'm sorry, I had to stop and think. I'm going to color, I'm gonna kind of uh, follow along the lines of this truck to give it the dark. I'm using the dark stamp and blend marker to start with. So I'm just kind of, following those lines. I know that at the bottom, it's gonna be a little bit darker. So we'll kind of do a little bit of dark around that and a little bit of dark around that. And then let's take the copper clay. I'm going to use the light one and the bullet point. And we're gonna put some rust on this cute little truck. Just put it in a couple of spots around the wheel wells, you know, when you've been mudding. <laughs> 
one of the funny things was um, as we raised our kids, we required them to learn how to, to drive a stick shift. And our daughter, our youngest daughter, she kind of complained about that. She did not want to have to learn how to drive a stick shift. One, and the only vehicle that we had for her to drive that ha had the automatic or the manual transmission was a really old truck. In fact, I should just turn you around so you can see the truck out here. And it, it was a beater truck. It's an old Chevy. I don't even, not a Chevy. Well, maybe it is. I have no idea. Anyway, one day she came home. Now I'm taking the light, uh, soft sea foam and just blending all these colors together, leaving a little bit of highlights here and there where the light might hit our truck. One day she came home from driving and she said she had gone to the, the neighborhood um, gas station. And when she got there and got out of the truck, there were some other boys that were there, some teenage boys. And they're like, wow, you know how to drive a stick shift? She was so excited to say, well, yeah, of course I do. And they were like, that's cool. Not every girl knows how to drive a stick shift. So she came home and said, okay, thank you for making me learn how to drive a stick shift, a manual transmission. So as you, as you blend those colors, this, these alcohol markers will really kind of just pull those rusty pieces towards each other. Then you can stamp, there's a little, another cute little stamp that says Farm Fresh. It's a teeny tiny stamp. You can stamp it onto your truck. Let me show you a card that I've already made with it. Look how cute that is. And it has all of the flowers and the little buckets that you can stamp and punch and add that on there. And I made a little sunshine just because it says every day is a fresh start. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I loved that. I thought that was just a cute, a cute way to do it. Okay. So there's, we've done, you can stamp it in a color. You can color it with your markers, your stamp and blends, and then you can punch them right out. I like to use a piece of paper, a little tip here for you, about uh, an inch and a half wide. Then you don't get, you don't mess up a lot of a bigger piece of paper with these other pieces, other pieces of the punch. So about an inch and a half wide is about the right size to be able to put that in and not waste much paper. One other little thing to note, this is a half inch circle and we don't currently have a half inch circle punch. So this is kind of double duty. It's not only a, a pickup punch, but it's also a half inch circle punch. Isn't that awesome? So I'm glad to have that in, in my arsenal as well. Okay, another thing you can do is just use your punch. Let's look at these pieces here. You've got the basic uh, truck punch and you've got the wheels. And you can see that I put this one together backwards. So you can turn your truck around. Well, I didn't turn it around. That's not really backwards because when you punch it out, it's like this. But I could have. I could have put it, my truck together like this. But I'm also going to show you how to stamp it backwards as well and have it punched out. So you've got the wheel wheel section right here that punches out the wheels. And this one is the window. I used just a little bit of, of the dark silver foil for my window like that. Okay. I have been stamping here on this silicone mat and this silicone mat is what you need when you want to make a backwards one, a backwards image, step backwards. You may have seen this little truck. Um, I'm going to show you one that has a little different measurements for the inside. And that's because it fits a, fits a Hershey's nugget right inside. Look at that. And so you'll see, here's my, here's the way it's usually stamped. And I stamped it this direction. Here's how to do this. First of all, you're going to, oh, I need to get my stamp out. I have the other one, but I have the filler image, but not the outline image on my stamp. So let's do that. Cleaned it off. So here's our outline image. So we're going to stamp that. 
right here. And then we're going to punch out two, two trucks. This one the right way in our poppy parade color today. Punch. <laughs> okay, let's take this one off so you can see a little bit more. Then I'm going to turn it around and do the other. I'm going to do another um, truck. Punch out another truck. So I've got one that's stamped and one that needs to be stamped the opposite direction. With your silicone mat, you want it to be clean so you can use a baby wipe or something to clean it up. Where's my thing there? It's on the other side. I couldn't see it. Then you're going to stamp your image on the silicone mat. I'm using this tuxedo black. Stamp it right there. Take your piece that you've punched out already, lay it over the top, and rub it. Lift that up. And there's your truck on the other side. So now you have one going this way and one going that way. Okay, to make the inside of your truck, <laughs> you need a piece of two by two and a half inch cardstock. I'm using the same color as my truck, Poppy Parade. And let's get all of the pieces up here. I'm going to use my Simply Scored tool everything out from underneath it. And I'm going to score on half at half inch on all four sides of this one. So I'll use my small ball end of the stylus. You can do it at two, half inch, half inch, and half inch, or you can turn it and do like one inch or half an inch and one and a half inch, and then half inch and two inches, however you'd like to do it. But you'll come up with half inch on all four sides of that two by two and a half inch piece of paper. Then, <laughs> pardon me, I'm gonna grab. You'll need some kind of adhesive. I'm going to use tear and tape because it makes this <laughs> really fast and easy. Uh, on the long ends, you're gonna cut along those long sides, you're gonna cut along the score line to the intersecting score line, turn it around to the other long side, score line to the intersecting score line. So you come up with this, like this, 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 this. Now, usually when you're making a box and you may want to burnish your score lines with your, your bone folder, but it doesn't matter, actually. Usually when you're doing a box, you may want to put your, your little tabs on the inside. I'm actually going to put them on the outside today because it just makes this project really speedy. And you're going to put on a two-inch piece of tear and tape. doesn't even have to be perfect. I love that we can just tear this. You don't have to. Oh, okay, I'm apparently struggling with my fingers here. There we go. I'm just basically taping that to each home. Oh. Remember when I said this made this easier? <laughs> I lied. Just kidding. There you go. So it doesn't have to look beautiful or anything because nobody's going to see this. So one side and the other side. What do you think? So far you're like, yes, I need this truck or no, I don't care for a truck. I don't drive a truck. Who knows? You know, it might be a good thing to know, have a skill to drive a truck at some point in your life if you like my daughter. So you basically have the truck bed ready to go. It's just a little uh, two or actually now it's a one by one and three quarters inch truck bed. Take off the adhesive on both sides and then just lay it in here right here and rub it so that it sticks on that side. Turn our other piece over and kind of line it up. <laughs> Somewhat like that. Oh, just kidding. So these are in, these are just some of the online exclusives that are new to our Stampin' Stores. So there's a cute little truck 
a Hershey nugget fits right inside of it. Simple, easy. You could color it if you wanted to, but you don't have to. And so then you're ready to give that as a little gift or set it, up, set it on a, you know, you could put on a cute gingham tablecloth for a fun gift during a picnic that might include some sunflowers. So there is our cute pieces here and this one's already done. So that's just an easy way, some easy ways to use your new truck, your trucking along bundle. What do you think? Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. Um, also during July, I wanted you to be aware of our bonus days. So for every $50 you purchase in July, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. Make sure you save the email that is sent to you immediately after your order, because that will have your coupon code on it and you can, you can do that. So this, this bundle is $41.25. That means you earn at least one bonus days coupon when you purchase this. So you could add um, a refill or some cardstock or something else to your order and you'll maybe, maybe you add a lot to your order and you'll get a couple of different, um, a couple of different things. So I think I said that wrong now that I'm saying that. So for each $50, this one's $41.25. You want to get one, one coupon. You definitely need to get up to $50 and then you'll get a coupon to spend in August. There, there, I got it right now. It's a beautiful day, a warm day in Southern Utah. I hope you have a great week. I hope you spend some time in your craft room and make something to share with someone else. Thank you for sharing this with your friends who are also crafty, and I'll see you next Monday.